All right, again, just a reminder that the Chattanooga locker room is now open. Uh, also, just a note that the team records that are currently listed on your box score are, are incorrect, and so we will get you a corrected copy shortly. Uh, we have Coach Jim Foster and student athletes Taylor Hall and Faith uh, Dupree on the podium. Um, and at this time, we will take questions for the student athletes. Um, well, losing is never fun, but it's even more frustrating whenever it's things such as missed free throws, not getting rebounds, stuff that we should be able to control each day. That just makes it a, um, a little bit harder to swallow, I guess. But um, our goal has been to put 40 minutes together the entire year, and once again, we didn't do that this game. And you can't have, you know, five minutes of, I don't know, lackadaisical or effort or something like that and expect to go on in this tournament. Um, I have to agree with her. Our effort on loose balls, our effort on rebounding um, did not compete. We did not compete with them on those aspects of the game, and it didn't, um, it didn't help us, and we didn't put our effort in. So, therefore, we didn't get anything good out of it. Um, I, I'm really not sure what it is. Like I said earlier, that's something you control. Your, your energy, your effort, that's something you can control. It has nothing to do with an opponent or anything like that. So it's hard to put a finger on exactly why that happens. But um, that's something we've addressed all year, and we just we didn't make it happen once again, and this is the result. Talk about the zone. It was. It, um, I don't think the zone really affected us much at all, really. Um, we were a little tentative to shoot at times, but um, we, we didn't turn the ball over, you know, any more than usual, anything like that. It was more just effort, um, mostly on the defensive end, getting rebounds. That that was the main thing. I don't think the zone really, I don't know, messed up our game that much. Um, I think that's why it's important to get those SEC games and all those um, games early in the season because you don't see that in the SOCON. You know, you don't. You have a couple of athletic people, long people, but um, as a whole, there's no team that's just uh, presents that type of challenge. So um, that that did affect us, just kind of not being used to it and rushing, like you said. But um, they're, they're very athletic, and that definitely, I guess, rushed us at times or kind of at least was in our heads to affect our shot. Um, yeah, the effort also, um, the, the loose rebounds that either team could have gotten, they seem to have gotten all of those or most of those, and I think that was just the will to get it, and I think that they wanted it more than we did, and, you know, me personally, that happened to me a few times, and she, she out rebounded me when I could have gotten the loose ball, and just things like that happened throughout the whole game, and it showed on the court, on the scoreboard. Um, we missed 10 free throws, I believe. So that um, that right there, I don't know how many second chance points they got, but it seems like they at least had a lot of attempts. Um, just, just little things like that. Um, that's why it's so frustrating because that's something we should control. And to know that that could have changed the outcome of the game is just, it's tough to think about. Other questions in the back? Um, uh, I guess I'm just blessed to have been able to be part of this program. Um, with Coach Moore and Coach Foster, you know, the whole ride was fun, and I really enjoyed it. And we have a tight bond as a team, and I think that shows on the floor. But uh, it's, just, it's been a blessing. Um, I'm very thankful for that experience. Um, definitely by starting out at, at Tennessee and coming here, I 
realize I am blessed. This team is much, it's more tight, it's a, it's a family, it's, you know, more personable, and I'm glad I made the decision. I'm glad that my career ended here, and I'm glad that I was able to end with these girls. Any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, at this time, the student athletes are excused to return to the locker room. And we will now take questions for Coach Foster. Uh, this was a very winnable game, and we didn't do things that we needed to do. You have to make foul shots in games like this, and you got to you got to win X number of the the races for loose balls. Some. You're going to lose because there's a quickness factor involved. But if you don't go for every one of them, you're not going to win enough of them. Coach, you kind of, uh, you, know, you held Syracuse out of baskets for like 11 minutes, 11 minutes in the second half. That seems like that needs to be a time where you kind of maybe cut into a lead slower pace and during the second half. Well, I, I, they, they, you have to do the little things. I mean, you have to make foul shots. And then you've got to have five people on the floor who want to score. You know, you've got some players that maybe are afraid against a zone with their skill set instead of attacking and figuring a way to make it work. If, you, if you're not a great shooter, you can get into gaps. If you're not a great shooter, you can be a great offensive rebounder. You know, you can, you can do little things. And that's the kind of thing... Um, that is necessary to take another step. When you have a player like Taylor, um, you can't get used to a player making the big shots or making the big plays and, 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 and assuming that it's her responsibility. And, and that's a mentality that that will continue to be, to be worked on. It's, this is a team game. You can't worry if I, if I uh, help, if my person scores. No, it's if you help, somebody's got to help you. And that's a mentality that we are striving towards. Yes, sir. Uh, after Alice made her third three, it seemed like they came out on her title. Was it hard to get the look that you wanted for her? Well, I, again, are there, if, if they're extended in another area, a couple of things. Alex could now go by them and get into the seam or gaps of a zone and make a play. Or because they're hugging her, your opportunities uh, are, are a lot greater um, where you are because their zone is a little distorted now because they're cheating in that direction. Ball fakes are a marvelous thing against the zone. Pardon? I really, I don't. Nah. X number of rebounds maybe, but you know, I don't think that's a large X. Other questions? Jim, I apologize if you've got this, but Sykes goes down with the injury, you guys are within four. Did you feel at that point? No, I, I never think that that's a factor in a game because other players, you know, it, they, somebody else comes in the game, makes a play. The, the butler decided to get more aggressive because Sykes wasn't there. You know, it, some things like that can have a long-term effect, but in a, in, a, in a short term, you know, people pick up. You have to get tougher. Bottom line, shouldn't miss foul shots. Shouldn't miss opportunities to get a loose ball. Shouldn't miss a box out. That's toughness. You know, that's, that's one of the more difficult things to instill in today's child. No, there's a, there's a, there's a, Toughness is setting good screens. Toughness is talking on defense. Toughness is making the, the pass that needs to be made. There's a lot of ways to measure toughness. It's not just, you know, pull your shorts up. Look the part. Yes, sir. Is toughness scheduling tougher teams earlier in the season like Taylor alluded to? Well, we're going to play Tennessee, Stanford, and Notre Dame.
next year, so we better get tough. I, I don't – let me watch the film. Let me back away. Let me have a, a time to, you know, put my feet up. I, I, I thank the seniors because they made the transition seamless. Could have been difficult. They could have wanted it to be difficult. They, they were coachable. And they uh, – when the freshmen walked in, they realized, well, you're supposed to be coachable. So they made it, they made it very easy. Um, but – the fact of the matter is we need to be good enough to win in this tournament, not just get in this tournament. We need to be good enough to compete at a level in this tournament where we can go somewhere. And your league shouldn't be an excuse. Um, who you play in January and February shouldn't be an excuse. You've got to get tough enough. Other questions for Coach Foster? Thank you. Thank you.